Hi, welcome to helicopter training videos. In this quick little video, we're going to look at a helicopter swash plate. Control inputs uh, from the collective and the cyclic are transferred up to the rot main rotor blades via something known as the swash plate. And the swash plate has two parts to it. It has a lower non-moving part, which is directed by the flight controls, and then the upper or moving swash plate assembly which transfers that information to the actual rotor blades and we'll look at that on the helicopter. So this is the main rotor system of the R22. This is the swash plate assembly here. You have the upper part and this piece, everything from here upwards moves around with the rotor. And that's what this piece here, this is called the scissor. This, mean, this makes sure that, that this piece of the swash plate moves with the main rotor mast. And this piece here, this is a pitch link. And so as the angle of this uh, upper swash plate moves, it transfers that information up to these blades via this pitch link. So this will change the pitch of this rotor blade here, and there's the same on the other side. Uh, another piece you can't see from here on the opposite side of the scissor is a counterweight, which just uh, counters the weight of this piece sticking out. Okay, so this is the, the bottom half or the non-rotating or the non-movable part of the swash plate. As we said, everything above this all rotates around with the blades. This piece here, this moves uh, through the inputs of the controls. You can see this is one of the uh, control rods coming up here, tilting this disc forward. And then it transfers that into the upper movable swash plate, which transfers that information to the blades via these pitch links. And we'll uh, go inside the helicopter and move the controls, and you'll see how this all moves up here. Okay, so if you're looking at the swash plate, you'll see as I pull the collective up, and that's going to move all the blades up simultaneously, going to increase their pitch simultaneously. So you'll watch the swash plate as a whole unit will move up. And then that transfers that information via the pitch links to the, to the blades, and they'll all, all of them twist at the same time. If I lower the collective, the entire swash plate assembly comes down. And now I'm going to move to the cyclic movement, and so if I push the cyclic forward, you'll see the swash plate assembly tilt forward, and then backwards and then centered left and right and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the collective back up all the way and then you'll see that it still works with the cyclic and the collective all the way up so cyclic all the way up, collective all the way up and now I'll make those full inputs again so this is cyclic full forward cyclic full back centered left right and centered For more information, check out the Robinson R22 or the R44 POH Pilot Operating Handbook. The FAA also produces the Helicopter Flying Handbook, which you can download from their website. ASA produce a Helicopter Oral Exam Guide and a Private Test Prep, both of which will cover uh, systems questions to help you prepare for your private check ride uh, or your written test. And uh, there's also the Robinson R22 or R44 Maintenance Manual you can download from Robinson. Any thoughts, any questions, any feedback, we appreciate all those. Please send them on.